these sins are not the king of our lives, but that God is the king of our lives. And we're going to say loneliness, suicide, depression, pornography, hatred. God will break every chain. We're in the hotel room. My mom is filming silently. My dad is sleeping in the bed. And I am chasing my sister around the room trying to like punch her or pee on her or something. <laughs> I used to pick on her a lot, and I'm like just trying to get her, just trying to pick on her. And she's running all around Steven, she calls me Steven. She's like, Steven, stop, no, I don't want you. And I'm like, no, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. So she literally jumps to my dad, wakes him up, says, Daddy, Daddy, Steven's annoying me. My dad is fast asleep. He wakes up, see my sister shaking up. He sits up in bed, opens his eyes, looks at me, grabs me. Punches me in the nose. <laughs> Immediately goes back to sleep. <laughs> if I was something beautiful, like you guys are created to be, and I was this vase, I just felt like... I just felt like my life was breaking apart. So, you, you're happy right now? I'm a happy guy. Alright. So I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna see if you can choose to be happy. Okay? Alright, you ready? Alright, let's see. What can we do? Oh, I know. Are you happy? I'm so happy. <laughs> Attitude is a choice. Let's give him a round of applause. And I was so stoked and I would show up at church and I would go up to people like him. I said, guess what? Tiffany, did you know that the Lord speaks to us? And they'd be like, yeah. I'm like, well, I, I, I have so many questions. Just a month ago, I was waiting in the road for a car to hit me because I was looking for answers and I had no solutions. And now I go into this closet and God speaks to me just because I'm asking, how are you not excited? Momentum, and if you believe that the Lord is ready to speak for us, I ask you the same question. How are you not excited? How are you not intentional? How are you not burning to hear one word from the Lord? Does it burn in your heart? Because one word can change everything. What is the worst situation in your life? What is the worst situation your family is dealing with? One word can change all of that. It is the nature of God to speak and He wants to speak to each and every one of us. My cry for you, Momentum, is that in the deepest part of your heart you say, Lord, let your will be done in my life. Lord, I have heard your voice. I feel like you're speaking to me. I feel like you have promises for me. And I'm going to go after it with everything that I've got. And if I fail, I fail. If I mess up, I mess up. And if I stumble, I stumble. And if I perish, I perish. But at least i got to do something for you, Lord. No of. And you might tell us that this is right and that this is the way to live. You might tell us that this is how things have always been. You might tell us to kneel to your kingdom and to your ways and to your love of money and your depression and your loneliness and your sin and your lust and your greed. You might tell me to kneel down to these things. But you know what? My king is the king right now. His kingdom has come into this earth right now. His kingdom doesn't just come when we die. His kingdom is here. The kingdom is near. And if that's in your heart tonight, come up to the front and I'm going to pray for you. But don't make this decision frivolously. Make it with all of your heart. I'm going to lay hands on each and every one of you that come up, comes up here. And staff, if you could do the same too. Oh, dear Father, if I perish, I perish. But let me do it serving you, Father. I don't want to waste another moment. I don't want to waste another minute serving myself. Oh, Lord, I want to serve you with everything that I've got.